Hey folks, Zach here. We're on our way to another gig tonight, a little wedding. This is at the Avalon um, in Chippewa Falls, which is really close to me. And you'll soon see what I mean when I say it's really close. I just left my house, keep that in mind. So, um, it's small. It seems like a lot of the weddings I've been doing have been doing the smaller setups. Uh, smaller PA, still brought a single sub just because and a smaller light show which is fine because it's much faster setup much faster tear down and this one's only a four hour deal which uh, lately it seems like I've been doing a lot of dinner musics or you know ceremony with dinner or whatever so it would be a nice easy easy wedding for me that's really close by so that's awesome um, and what's been going on well as you see I didn't even get my log up from last week so when you see this one, you're going to see the other one. So if you haven't seen the other wedding from my week before when I was down in Barrow, we'll go back and check that out. Um, that was an interesting one. It was at a really neat venue. I don't know how much. I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know how much of the venue I'm showing or anything else. So, But um, otherwise, this will be my last wedding, actually, until I think I got one in December. Yeah, December 6th. And then other than that, not, until, not again until February. So... Um, but real quick, have you guys been noticing that people seem to be skimping a little bit with uh, the options on packages? Because I've noticed um, lately that I've been booking a lot more of the smaller packaged shows versus the larger packaged shows. And I don't think it's really my prices being, you know, unfair. I, my pricing is uh, extremely average or less than the average for my area. I'm, I'm just thinking that the economy is taking a hit and I'm actually starting to get a little nervous that um, coming up, you know, my bar shows might be leaving because I know my bar shows are definitely slowing down and uh, regardless people are always going to get married and have weddings but they're just going to be looking for a cheaper alternative whether it be a cheaper service from somebody else or you know my cheaper service which will net me less uh, profit in the end so um, I don't know something that's kind of been on the forefront of my mind lately so you know whatever but enough rambling on because actually I'm pulling up to the uh, reception hall right now and I'm already set up I set up earlier today it's a mile away from my house actually go across go down the neighborhood get on go across the uh, the highway and here I am so, it looks like we got a, quite a few people here. I wonder if they got a DJ in the bar area tonight. They used to do a lot of DJ stuff in the bar area. So, well, here we are. I'm just going to back the truck up to the door so then when I'm done I have a nice easy loadout. And um, we'll see you guys inside. Alright folks, just got done with our first dances and stuff. Opening it up to everybody. You're going to have a kind of a different crowd for me to play with tonight. Quite a few uh, older people, so we're going to kind of keep the playlist accordingly to that. So, let's see how it goes. I'll do a decent start. Hopefully we can continue this. We'll check back in a little bit. The slow stuff's working. Got a pretty good crowd here. We're going to see what this uh, waltz will do. He's fun. He's 
awesome. <laughs> so much energy. <laughs> All right, folks, our bride and groom have left already. It's only 10 after 11. We got 50 more minutes. I coaxed Rich out here for one more dance, too. I want to get him on film doing a ninja kick. I don't know if he's going to do it anymore. But this is what we got. Almost everybody's on the dance floor. Almost. Four more people, we got everybody on the dance floor. This is the best ratio I guess we've had all night though. <laughs> Being on the dance floor, you guys gotta cheer them on. There it is. You don't need to have a hundred people to have a good time. Backflip. <laughs> Half of a backflip, not really. Oh. <laughs> the only problem is that this wood floor is probably like harder than water or a trampoline, so. No backflip, I guess. And no, I don't really care if he's stepping on the sub. They're made for it. Fuck it, whatever. Those things go through a lot of abuse by getting loaded in and out of the truck and bounced around on bumpy roads. Alright folks, so we are packed up and leaving the Avalon now. So, all in all it was alright. I mean, I think I did the best that anyone could have done with the crowd that we had to play with. So, you know, I, I got a pretty good tip from the bride and groom, so that's a good sign. That means that they were happy, and um, yeah, I mean, heck, it worked out okay, but uh, definitely not the most lively bunch that I've ever played to. So, um, all in all, great. They left, uh, shut down a half hour early, which is nice. I mean, I'm only five minutes away, not even two minutes away, actually. So, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna run to the bank, make a deposit tonight, and uh, go home. So, you guys, uh, thanks for tuning in and everything. Questions, comments, anything, you know, leave them below. And uh, yeah, practice and enjoy, guys. We'll see you. We'll see you next time. <laughs>